Hi, I'm Christy Henderson. We're going to show you how to program one of these Midland Weather radios. You can actually pick these up at any Walgreens stores. Just look for the display. A lot of people want to have a weather radio, but they're a little afraid to program it. So we're going to show you how here. Take a look at uh, the radio overall. You've got several buttons on the top. You've got a button on the side. You want to always make sure that's on. And the radio needs three AA batteries. It also comes with a plug, but you want the batteries in there and fresh so that if you lose power, you'll still receive all of the warnings and watches and uh, alerts that will come across on the weather radio. So let's take a look here. The first thing you want to do when you get one of the radios, of course, is put in three fresh batteries in the back here. And then on the front to set all the settings, click the menu button. First thing you're going to want to set is the time. So you see the time showing up there in the window. Hit select. The current time here is 335 p.m. It's set on a.m. I've got the time correct, but if I needed to change that, I would just use the up arrow or down arrow, and then I can right arrow over to get the correct minute. So I've got that. Now I actually want to get that over to p.m. because right now we're on a.m. So what I'm going to do is actually up arrow until I get over to the correct time of day. Now I'm in p.m. 335 p.m. and we will hit select. Okay, then what we want to do is down arrow. There's the light. If you select that, what we want is BLT normal, and that just means that the light will stay on for a certain period of time and then go off. That's probably the one you want to have it on there. So hit select on that. Hit the down arrow again. This is the alert test. Okay, so you want to do that. So that works. All right, I want to make sure that's correct. We've set the time, we've set the light, the alert test works. The alert type, what you want to have that on is voice. What that'll do is when a warning or a watch or an advisory comes over, it will alert you for a few seconds and then it's actually going to have the voice come on and describe the warning watch or advisory. So that's what you want. You don't want the tone just to continue there. So go ahead and keep that on voice. Okay, we've got the alert type set. We're going to down arrow to the next one, which is the same set. That is the frequency set that you want. Um, and what we want to do is actually uh, hit, in this case, we wanted to do just Spartanburg County. You'd hit just single, and then you would choose, this would be the first one, you would choose your correct frequency. And you can find those on the National Weather Service's webpage under a weather radio tab that they've got. Just click that and you can find the correct numbers that you need. And you can just up arrow and down arrow. Either way, once you get that frequency set, hit select. Okay, so you've got the same set there. Now on the next one, you want the correct channel. This is the frequency. And what we want is 162.55 megahertz. Okay, and that's going to be the clearest one that you have on there. But you can also page up and page down. But you want to basically have it default on the clearest channel. All right, so we've got that set. On the alarm, that's just a clock alarm. I don't usually mess with that. So you can go on to the next one and you're back to time. So you've got time, the light setting, the alert test, the alert type. That's the voice setting. The same set uh, just tells you if you want just a single frequency or if you want to be alerted for a couple of counties, maybe the county tier west. So again, if you want to change that, just hit select. You can go to any, and that would alert for any um, county that was alerted in the entire uh, listening area, or you can do multiple. A lot of people choose multiple, so you'd hit select on that. This would be the first one. 045083 would be your first county. Once you got that, you could up arrow to same two. That would be your second uh, county that you wanted to be alerted for. Hit select, and then you can just fill in the numbers that you want. Again, on the Weather Services web, web page, um, they actually have a tab that says Weather Radio, and uh, you can figure out what the correct frequency is for your particular county or county that you're interested in. Enter that and then hit select. So it looks like we've uh, pretty much finished that. We'll go back to the menu. There's the same set. We've got the channel and the frequency that we need. The alarm we're not going to mess with and we're back to time. So that's how you can program the weather radio. Make sure it's always set to the on button here on the side. Make sure it's always plugged in so it's listening, it's got power, and it can alert you when there's dangerous weather around.